Hello everybody. It's Crafted Just Because with Chris Cowan. Sorry, I'm very congested. I'm getting over a cold. But I wanted to come on and create something. So we're using a new stamp set from the new uh, mini catalog. And it's the Ice Cream Swirl set. And it has matching dies. I'm um, going to pull in. We're going to be using some shaded spruce, some petal pink, and some poppy parade blends with Memento ink. And then we're going to be using some of this strawberry um, paper. So we're only going to be using the strawberry stamp and um, a saying. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to make a pocket card. So the first thing I like to do, oh, and I'm also going to be pulling in some of the Regal's Designer Series paper and basic white. <clears throat> what I first like to do is get my stamping and die cutting out of the way so that when we stamp, we are ready to, or when we go to make the project, we're ready with all of our little elements. <clears throat> So I'm, I'm going to stamp a couple of the strawberries. I think I'm going to do three. And let's do four. Because I want to put one, I think, on the inside. Okay. We're going to keep the Memento ink out because I want to do a sentiment once we cut our, um, our card pieces. I will be playing with the ice cream set here soon, though, because that is so stinking cute. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to just come in with my dark blend on my Poppy Parade. I'm going to do two Poppy Parade and two Petal Pink. And I like to do the dark first. And then blend that up with the lighter. You guys ready for the weekend? I know I am. It's been a long week with me getting sick. I don't know what it is. I just got over COVID. And then my husband was sick for a few days. And now I got it. It's that time of year, I guess. Cold and flu season. I like how Stampin' Up! makes it easy for us to know kind of where to go dark. It's wherever the lines are. <clears throat> Let me go a little bit further in on this one. I forget, um, I, I I know that there's some strawberries that are this petal pink color, and I forget what they're calling them, but I hear they're really good. I've never seen them in the store where I am, so if anybody's had them or you know what they're called, please comment and tell us, because I'm curious to know how they taste. <clears throat> I need some new petal pink markers on the other day on a project and I was like yep it's time to order some new blends on some of my colors
This card is really simple to make once you get all the coloring done. Okay, now we just need to do our shaded spruce. I'm going to do all of that at once. Hopefully I can color quick enough. I think we're all ready. I'm going to set those aside. Let me get out a piece of post-it tape. I'll have to run this through four times just because there's only one strawberry die. And then our last one. Oh, did my strawberry move a bit? No, it's good. Okay. I thought it might have moved. Okay. So that was all done out of a little scrap of paper, which is kind of nice. Okay. Come on. Now it's stuck to... There we go. There's our last strawberry. Okay, go ahead and put this stuff away. Put the strawberry back. Okay, now we're going to cut our pieces and we're gonna bring in our paper trimmer and we're gonna want a piece of basic white cardstock that is four and a quarter by five and a half. So let's see, I have a piece that's almost four and a quarter by five and a half, okay. We're gonna set that there. Then we're gonna pick a piece of the um, Regal's Designer Series paper, the six by six, and I'm gonna pick it in shaded spruce. And I think, oh, the polka dots is pretty darn cute. Let's go polka dot. Okay, so I want a piece that's four 
by five and a quarter. Okay. And then we're gonna need another piece of this that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, let's put that to the side here. Then we're gonna need a piece of the strawberry paper and we need it to be three by eight. Three. By eight. And I need a piece of basic white that is three and a half by three and a half. And then I also need a piece of either Petal Pink or Poppy Parade. I'm going to try to grab a scrap here. Oh, looks like we have Poppy Parade. And I'm going to cut that at three and a quarter by five and a, or sorry, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So four and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay. Now... Before we put all this away, we're going to score this in half at four inches. Okay. Then we're going to take our three and a half by three and a half inch square and we're going to cut it diagonally. Oops. And I messed up that corner. Dang it. Okay. We only actually need one of those, and then we're going to put this, the three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch, and, and cut diagonally as well. Okay, so we have all of our pieces cut. Now we are going to um, stamp our sentiment. Dang it. Oh no, you know what I was going to do? I was going to cut something, so hold on just a second here. What's the size of this? Yeah, that's too little. Let me grab a scrap. I wanted to cut one more piece of basic white. I want to cut a piece that is two and three quarters. <clears throat> by three and three quarters. There we go. Okay, now we can assemble the card. So what I was thinking I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stamp on here. gonna do thanks in the bigger block strawberry and I'm going to pick one of these lighter ones just like that let that sit for a minute you only need one of each of these um, triangles here okay we're going to layer this on top of this Okay. 
And then I want to add another strawberry. And I'm going to add a dimensional on the back. Just like that. Put that aside. And then we're going to fold this in half. We're going to glue it in the middle of our poppy parade piece. So, okay, and then our little card's going to go inside. So this is your card portion. And we're going to add strawberries to that in just a minute once we get the card put together. this to here okay then we gotta put on our little pocket so I'm gonna do just the long short sides not the angle with glue okay and then your little card will fit in here. Oh, I needed to put this down a little bit. Oh, I hope. I'll put it in the corner. And then I was gonna add these two with dimensionals. So there's our little pocket card, you guys. Super simple. It's a fun way to use celebration items or leftover designer series paper. Um, and I hope you guys had fun making this project with me. Until next time, my creative peeps, I will see you later. Bye-bye.